Quality of life is something most of us take for granted. Sadly, many have no choice in the matter. In Western Australia, the Nelson Haven Association is committed to helping people who are profoundly disabled achieve the quality of life we would choose for ourselves. Over the past 40 years, Nelson Haven has grown to become one of Western Australia's leading service providers for people with severe disabilities. The organisation's strength has come from all of those who have been part of it, including family members, fundraisers and the wonderful carers and staff. They're all people with compassion, respect and dedication. The Nelson Haven Association is absolutely accountable for everything they do. They're an open book, a great organisation. The Disability Services Commission is proud to be associated with Nelson Haven and they deserve the full support of the Western Australian community. With Greg. Maybe we'll see Although Colleen perceptions of people with severe disabilities and expectations for them have changed over the years, things were not always so positive. Back in the 1950s, there was virtually no support available. The Nelson Haven Association was inspired by a group of parents who would not accept the prevailing belief that people with disabilities should be put away in large dehumanising institutions. Nelson exists today because these people had the foresight and the compassion to establish the Mentally Incurable Children's Association, the forerunner of the Nelson Haven Association. We had Lisa in 1957 our first child and uh, in those days when a person had a child who was not considered completely normal you were more or less expected to put her away in a cupboard and in fact we were advised to sign her over to the state and put her into the Claremont Asylum and this we just couldn't do. Then we discovered Nolson Haven and what a blessing that was. Lisa made enormous progress over the years well and uh, when we first saw her eating a meal herself and drinking out of a mug, it was really a miracle. And since living in the community in her own home, she's really blossomed. She's uh, nowadays happy, relaxed, healthy and involved. Having a high presence in the community is fundamental to the quality of life of all residents of the Nelson Haven Association. This allows people to enjoy meaningful relationships with members of their community, to develop their skills and exercise their choices. We have a great relationship with our residents and they're all individual, they're very special in lots of different ways. Belinda particularly likes pop music, especially Whitney Houston, played very loud. We're part of a big family and we really enjoy all the quality time we get to spend with the residents. We place great value on our staff. They're highly trained, very special people who have the skills and commitment to enhance the dignity and independence of people with disabilities. A total of 19 homes for Nelson Haven have been built or purchased in the community with grants from the Lotteries Commission, fundraising by appeal-a-thon, private bequests and government assistance. Residents can enjoy the ordinary routines and experiences that make a home, having their own space and possessions and privacy things that we simply take for granted in our own lives. All the homes have been modified to make life more comfortable. Nelson Haven provides the flexibility to be part of the community. Each resident faces different challenges and has varying needs, plus the additional needs that ageing brings. To meet these ongoing needs, the association must remain flexible and responsive. Being governed in the main by parents who have a very strong commitment to their sons and daughters ensures that the focus of the Nelson Haven Association remains on the people. Individual lifestyle plans are established to deal with issues such as health and well-being, community involvement, communication 
and competency development. Plans that are regularly assessed and reassessed. Program development officers coordinate the team of consultant therapists. The success of Nelson Haven has enabled the residents to maximise their potential to achieve goals not thought possible and to enjoy life regardless of the difficulties that face them. You must be proud of the service that has been provided by Nelson Haven Association. Very proud, Tina. But not everybody in the community appreciates the work of the association and that it is, in fact, a total community responsibility that requires total community support. If you could sum up the aim of Nelson Haven in one sentence, what would that be? Our aim is to provide care and support for people with intellectual disabilities and to promote their participation and involvement in the wider community. face many challenges for the Nelson Haven Association as they seek ways to meet the ever-changing needs of their residents. But with the ongoing support of volunteers, public donations and government funding, you can rest assured that well into the 21st century, Nelson Haven will be still here and still caring. Music